Coach Gibbs was an offensive line coach in the NFL, most famously for the Denver Broncos during their Super Bowl runs in the 90s. Brian Bugsy Watson was an NHL defenseman for 16 seasons, most with the Detroit Red Wings and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Charlie Gordon was a former Major League Baseball pitcher. He pitched for the Milwaukee Braves in parts of both 1954 and 1955. Chuck McMahon was a halfback in the Canadian Football League. He played for the Montreal Alouettes from 76 through 81, and then with the Montreal Concords from 1982 to 1985. Cliff Anderson played in the NBA and the ABA as a guard for the Lakers, the Denver Rockets, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Philadelphia 76ers. Dan Deutsch was a defensive end in the NFL. He played five seasons for the following teams, the Detroit Lions, the New Orleans Saints, and the New York Giants. Dave Reed was a former center in the NHL. He played parts of three seasons for the Toronto Maple Leafs in the mid to late 50s. David Carter was an offensive lineman in the NFL. He played for the Houston Oilers for seven years and parts of two seasons with the New Orleans Saints. Dennis Murphy was a former founder of the American Basketball Association, the ABA, and the WHA, the World Hockey Association. Dick Nagel was a former NFL halfback for the San Francisco 49ers, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Dallas Cowboys. He was a consensus All-American at Rice University and is more famous for being tackled by an Alabama player on the sidelines during the Cotton Bowl. Dick Tidra, a former pitcher in Major League Baseball, he played for the Cleveland Indians, the New York Yankees, the New York Mets, the Chicago White Sox, and the Chicago Cubs. He was a major part of the New York Yankees championship teams in the mid to late 70s. Doug Falconer played in the CFL for the Ottawa Rough Riders, the Argonauts, the Tiger Cats, the Stampeders, and the Alouettes. He also was a Hollywood film producer. Ellis Rainsberger was a former college football coach who also coached in the Canadian Football League for several teams, including the Win Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Freddie Ford was a halfback in the Old American Football League. He played for the Buffalo Bills and the San Diego Chargers. Greg Clark was a tight end for the San Francisco 49ers. He was a premier blocking tight end in the NFL during his tenure. Greg Knapp was an assistant coach in the NFL for several teams, including the New York Jets, the Denver Broncos, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Atlanta Falcons, just to name a few. He was more famous for being a quarterback coach for Peyton Manning, Michael Vick, and several other greats. Jerry Steele, was a former ABA coach for the Carolina Cougars and was more famous for his 39 years of coaching for the Guilford Quakers and the High Point Panthers. Jim Schaffner was a former player and coach in the NFL. He played for the Cleveland Browns for six years as a defensive back. He also was an assistant coach for many years. Julie Gutz was a former member of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. She was dubbed Gutsy by her teammates. She played for three different teams, the Springfield Sallies, the Muskegon Lassies, and then the Kenosha Comets. Lynn J. Shell was a defensive back in the Canadian Football League. He played with the Toronto Argonauts, the BC Lions, the Cavalry Stampeders, and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Matisse Kivlenix was a former goalie for the NHL. He played for the Columbus Blue Jackets. 
and passed away as a result of a fireworks accident. Michael Solos was a fullback in the Canadian Football League. He played 11 seasons, 7 with the Edmonton Eskimos and 4 with the Montreal Alouettes. Nino Escalera was a former outfielder and first baseman in Major League Baseball. He played for the Cincinnati Reds in 1954 and was the first player of African descent to appear in the Major League game for the storied franchise. Randy Moore was a former defensive tackle in the NFL. He played in 1976 for the Denver Broncos. Ron Hutchinson was an NHL center. He played in 1960-61 for the New York Rangers and played professional hockey for over 15 years. Stan McKenzie was a small forward. He played for several NBA teams, including the Bullets, the Suns, the Trailblazers, and the Rockets. Ted Wien was a major league pitcher for two seasons for the Cincinnati Reds. He also was with the New York Yankees, but never appeared in a game for New York. Terry Donahue was a college football coach who still holds the record at UCLA for the most wins. He also was a general manager in the NFL for the San Francisco 49ers. Tom Modrak was the GM for the Philadelphia Eagles from 1998 through 2001. He was also a chief scout for the Buffalo Bills for 10 seasons. Tim Talton was a Major League Baseball catcher. He played two seasons in the Major Leagues for the Kansas City Athletics. Willie Quinney was a former pro football wide receiver. He signed with several NFL teams, but never appeared in an NFL game. He did appear with the Hamilton Tiger Cats in the CFL. Thank you.